what is going on guys for those of you who don't know I'm actually a Left 4 Dead 2 runner so I have pretty much a love-hate relationship when it comes to the Valve uh, this weekend I've been playing a lot of The Last Stand it just came out and it brought me to the realization that I have a lot of basically pent up frustration when it comes to Valve so I'm in there playing this game um, the last stand update and it seemed like the consensus among people playing the game uh, they're, they're all out there being like dude hey valve is awesome so happy they did this this is awesome you know valve thank you maybe we're gonna get left for dead 3 all that stuff and I don't know how this started but that assumption is wrong this update was not made by valve this update was made by the community. Valve does not deserve any real credit for the Last Stand update. All they did was put their stamp of approval on it. Uh, with that being said, I personally don't really like this level. This is a rehashed level, and it's something you guys don't seem to understand. The Last Stand was in Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, they added a new map right one new map this campaign is two levels long and don't take that the wrong way i love the dev team because they're part of the community and i support this community i love this game i wouldn't be running it if i didn't love it but it's not some be all end all you know for left for dead 2 it, it's not some like update that's like a final hurrah for the series or anything like that so I just had to get on here to clear some things up. So the first thing I really want to clear up here is fuck Valve, dude. Like, for real, man. You guys, why do you people love this fucking company so much? They have been fucking us over for years. They are lazy as shit. We are not going to get Half-Life 3. Stop it. We're not going to fucking get Portal 3. That most of the people on the Portal 3 or the Portal 2 team is gone. Left 4 Dead 3, we're not getting that shit. Why do you think Valve let them do this? Because they know they're not going to make it themselves. Yeah, you know, they'll let the community do it because they know that it's going to give them a little bit of a boost in their reputation. But they're not making Left 4 Dead 3. They're not. And you know who's the worst? is when it comes to Left 4 Dead 3 is the fucking Valve News Network. These guys for the last five, six years have been making all these clickbait titles, these clickbait videos talking about, oh yeah, you know, we found all this stuff hidden in the code. There's going to be a Left 4 Dead 3. I don't know who, whoever's listening to this, I don't know if you guys follow the Valve News Network, but about three, four months ago, they came out with this video and talking about how they found all of this hidden stuff in the servers and some people at Valve have been using the servers you know so they're like oh there's gonna be Left 4 Dead 3, Left 4 Dead 3 is coming out see you guys this is proof no you know you know what that was now the last stand is out we know what that was that was Valve giving the devs of last stand the rights and, and the ability to use their servers that's all that was it was never Left 4 Dead 3 I mean, even if they did make Left 4 Dead 3, it would not be the same. Because Turtle Rock Studios is gone, guys. They left. They're not part of Valve anymore. They started their own company. They made a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead 3 already. And it was called Evolve. And that game blew. That game blew dogs for quarters in the park. Nobody liked it. It sucked. You know, I mean, and I love Turtle Rock for making the original games, but dude, it's not coming back. They're not coming back. Left 4 Dead 3 is not coming back. I mean, just look at some of this shit, dude. Gabe is so fucking lazy, dude. Gabe is the most smug asshole I've ever seen in my life. Take a look at these interviews. Take a look at this shit. Chips for our multiplayer games to get a feature like HDR. After Orange Box, we have to get episode three out. We know how the trilogy ends, and there are a bunch of loose ends and, and narrative arcs that need to come to a conclusion in episode three. So that's, that's gonna be a big focus for us. You see how young Gabe looks in that video? I mean, he looks like fucking Santa Claus now. And that was like almost eight fucking years ago. 
you know, here he is making all these promises and shit. But but let's keep going. Let's let's look at another one from that one that's a little more recent. Episode three. What do we know about it? What can you tell us? From our point of view, there's enough newness in there that we want to sort of spring it on people and say here's a bunch of things you've never seen before have multiple of those and, and that's graphically or in terms of the gameplay or there's stuff that visually hasn't been in games before and there's certainly a bunch of game elements on the order of portal that have right. never been done before so even better than the portal gun and oh, yeah. really new yeah. gameplay paradigms uh -huh. see like what the fuck is this guy talking about like he did they didn't do any of that shit they probably weren't even working on episode three when he did that interview Gabe already knew that he wasn't going to make fucking episode 3, dude. And why the fuck would he want to make episode 3 anyways? You know, he's too lazy for that shit. Well, let's keep going. Let's let's look at a couple more. Can you tell us anything about when we'll see episode 3? Look at his smug uh, asshole smile. I'm not smile. saying anything about, about episode 3 or, or, or the other things that we haven't uh, talked about. Are you still even working on Half-Life 2 episode 3? When can we micro-invest in it through Steam so it will actually come out? Now he's fucking laughing uh, at I us. really don't have anything to say about episode 3 right now. When we do, uh, we'll certainly let people know, but I don't have anything that I'm going to say. Are you still doing episode 3? Because I think when people Yes, of course we're doing episode 3. It, it's like, Way is that going to become Half Life 3 now? Or these things have taken, you know, longer and longer gestation periods. You're not going to trick me into saying something that I get email about for the next year. So. All right, so there's no, but it is being worked on. Oh, absolutely. Right, right. Well, we all know how that fucking turned out. Still waiting on fucking Half Life 3. You know why they're not doing Half Life 3? You know why they're not doing Left 4 Dead 3? You know why they're not doing Portal 3? Let me tell you why. Steam. Why the fuck would they want to go out and make games when they can just sit back, let other people make games for them, and then get paid? That's what's going on, guys. We need to give up. Let it go. Trust me, I want Left 4 Dead 3 just as bad as everyone else. I want these games just as bad as everyone else. But I am sick and fucking tired of clicking on a news story on the Valve News Network of them being like, oh yeah, hey dude, look at this, we're gonna make Left 4 Dead 3. You know, it's bullshit. If you subscribe to them, please unsubscribe. I know I fucking unsubscribed a long ass time ago. But seriously, man, they have Steam. Valve has Steam. They don't need to make games. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, hey, they made Half-Life Alex. That was a VR game, dude. The only reason they even made that game was because they were trying to sell more VR headsets. So in other words, money. The only way possible for us to get Left 4 Dead 3 is, well, number one, is probably going to be fucking VR, and who wants that shit? I don't want that shit. I won't even play that. Man, you have no idea how fucking pissed off I would be if they finally announced Left 4 Dead 3 and ends up being a fucking VR game. I would be so mad, dude. But well, that's the only way they'd even make it. They'd only make it so that they can make some fucking money off that shit. Like, I'm going to show you a couple more clips here, but seriously, man, like, Gabe just gets more smug, he gets more dickish, you know, he's just a straight fucking asshole, and he doesn't give a fuck about the community, and you know how I can prove he doesn't give a fuck about the community? Because of this whole fucking last stand thing that happened. You know, they're sitting there taking the credit for the community's hard work. If it wasn't for the Left 4 Dead community, that shit never would have happened. This game would have been dead years ago. This game came out in, two, was it, 2012? 2012! Eight years ago, guys. Eight years ago. They had, and guess when the last official update was? Seven years ago. You know why that is? Because Valve doesn't give a shit. Gabe doesn't give a shit. Open your eyes. You need to realize that Gabe doesn't care. You know, he does not want to make these fucking games, man. People are like, oh, oh, well, they're just waiting until technology's better. You know, they just want to make sure they make a good game. Dude, that's not it at all. That's not it at all. Gabe wants to sit on his ass eating pizza at home and fucking drinking beer and, and watching TV. I can't really blame him because if I was rich, yeah, I'd want to do that too. But with me, if I was rich, I would just pay some people to actually make these fucking games and just sit at home and do whatever I wanted. That's a whole other story. But here, like, take a look at a couple more of these. I will now ask you the world's shortest question ever, uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 3. Thank you. Everyone is, is wondering what you guys, the, the, the main Valve team, are, are, are doing right now and, and where Half-Life is, is headed. 
<laughs> uh, I got nothing to say about Half Life. Well, it, it's not ha it's not that anyway. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Translation: Fuck you. That's what he's saying. He's saying, "Look, I don't give a fuck about Half Life Three. I don't give a fuck about what my customers want. I don't give a fuck about any of you. I just want to sit." On my fat fucking ass. And collect money. That's it. That's all I want to do. Get out of my face. And get that microphone out of my face. I'm not making Half-Life 3. It's been over a decade, guys. Get over it. Stop fucking crying. Look at this smug asshole. Man. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. But we're n it's not happening. It's not going to fucking happen. They're about Half-Life. They were obviously asking about that episode. No, right? We don't have anything about Half-Life or Episode 3. Are we going to see Half-Life 3 and when? Well, I can't really say anything about Half-Life 3. And if, when I do, I'll, I'll certainly talk to the BBC about it. Is, is it being developed that I take it then? When I have something to talk about, I'll be happy to talk. No, that's fair. But of course, he's never going to talk about it because we're never going to get Half-Life 3 or any of the games that we want. It's just way, way too much work for him. Fuck them. For real. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I love Steam. I do. But I'm not going to sit here and wait for these games anymore, knowing they're not coming out. And then also knowing that if they do come out, they're going to be some novelty act, like some fucking VR game that comes out. So if I'm pissed anyone off, good. Hopefully I pissed off Gabe. Fuck you, Gabe. Fuck you, Valve. I'm sick and tired of your promises. I'll keep playing the games I want to play. I'm not boycotting you or any shit like that. But especially Valve News Network, stop making the fucking clickbait. I'm out of here.